Hello and welcome to another video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to get keybinds on mice such as Razer or Logitech or basically any type of mouse. And these mice usually have programs for this such as Razer Synapse, but with the recent versions of Mac such as Monterey and um, Big Sur, and these programs are no longer uh, compatible with Mac. Therefore many are looking for alternatives and um, I'm going to show you what I think is the best out of all of them. So, let's begin. You start by going into the site for USB Overdrive, which is the application um, which you want, and the link for this site will be in the description, and you're going to, you're going to download. Here you will be able to download the program for the different versions of macOS, like Monterey, Big Sur, Catalina, or even older. Um, versions. But I'm going to um, download this, the latest one for Monterey and Big Sur. You download it and you put it into applications. I already have it, have it but um, to do this with you, I'm going to replace it. Then you go into the finder, and um, you could just undo up here, for example, um, and you find. USB overdrive and it is down here. You open it and you will see this. What this means is that you don't have the registered version um, which costs $20 but you don't have to. Um, as you see here um, there is no limitation in this unregistered version of the driver except that you'll see this reminder every time you open the application. So you just press register later um, and then you will see this. You can go into status, and here you can pick your um, um, mouse. I have the Razer Death Adder 2013, um, but of course you put in your own. Um, this is very simple. Um, when you don't have anything registered, you just uh, put it in and it will um, sense your mouse. So you go to settings, um, and here you can choose what you want to configure. And you can configure your keyboard, or um, other things, but we are going to focus on the mouse, which is what this video is about. So, you choose the mouse. Here you can um, change many things. You can choose the speed and the acceleration, um, but you also have this daunting bit over here with a bunch of buttons. But um, we are focusing on the side buttons, which for me is button 4 and 5. So you can choose one of these, and you can choose whatever you want to do. And there are many, many options for binding this key. You can have it do the normal thing, which is that it just presses the button. And you can even have it press other um, side buttons if you want um, all to be as one. Um, but you can have it press keys if you want to press a specific key. Um, write text, launch applications, um, execute macros, or um, which many of you will want to do, execute a music command such as play or pause, increase volume or decrease volume, um, or other functions. But really what you can do with the, um, when you configure this, the options are really endless. Um, and if you want a more in-depth tutorial on how to execute macros, um, or um, really any of these, um, then uh, p please write in the comments and uh, I will do that. The mo most basic is just for the button, um, to yeah, click mouse button four, um, and you can have it, uh, it hold down um, other buttons. But that is really it for this video. Um, thank you for watching. If you liked it, then um, please give it a like or uh, share it with um, your friends or people that you uh, know have this specific problem, which very many people do. Um, but that is it. Thank you.